Hi YouTubers. This is Major Sika Williams. Hi, how you doing? Alright, so as you can tell and hear that I am in the hospital. Athens Regional. I initiatively came here through, you know, ambulance because I was having shortness of breath, which I I really figured that it could be um, due to pregnancy, and then, but then I was having sharp pains from my hip all the way up to my chest. That's what made me call and come into the hospital. Okay. Uh, by the time I got to the hospital, everything died down, but the contractions started to kick in. They lasted for two minutes, and it was five minutes apart. And last time I got checked was three and a half centimeters, 70% effaced, negative three. They always changing it. But either way it goes, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so after, let's see. Don't ask me what time I got here, because I don't remember. Um, I don't know. Got here about 8-ish. Last time I ate. Yeah. And it's almost 30. 30 41. It's 4.41 a.m. <clears throat> July the 11th, 2020. And um, I am officially 34 weeks and 5 days with my munchkins. <laughs> Sorry. <It's> tired. <clears throat> um so anyway, um about mm, about noon, well about midnight basically, I got checked. And like I said, I came in here thinking that okay, maybe it's just it ain't nothing. I'm gonna go home and I'm relaxed and sleep in my own bed tonight. That one true. Midnight, I got checked. Um, five centimeters. Uh, fifty percent face. They always changing their face, man. Either way it goes, it was still thick. I was like, okay, cool. It's like shit. Scared as fuck. Scared the hell out of me. Okay. She was like, okay, so. We're definitely going to keep you overnight. We're going to see what's going on. We're not going to induce you. We're going to let your body do what it needs to be done. If your body is progressing, um, you know, when the next by the next time that, you know, we check your cervix and stuff like that, then we're definitely keeping you. We're getting everything situated. We're signing paper, documentations, all that great stuff, yada, yada, yada. I was like, okay, cool. Again, I'm thinking, okay, so what? I'm five centimeters. It's pretty cool. Nice. But, meh. Okay. So what? I'm five centimeters. I doubt that I doubt. I, I doubt it that, you know, I've dilated any more than that. <clears throat> Again, that one true. Two o'clock in the morning hit. I have reached six centimeters. Uh, yeah. So, everybody's looking at it. Hey, it's your time. So, with that being said, I've had the normal protocol routine, uh, pills and antibiotics. Uh, um, I'm almost done with my one bag of fluid. Then the anesthesiologist, which I said that three times fast, is going to come in and do my epidural, which I'm absolutely petrified of doing. Um, of course, no eating, no drinking, um, stuff of that nature. As you can hear, both of the babies is being monitored. This is not the third. Everything's good. And, um, yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Um, I'm just, with the epidural, I'm scared as fuck. I really am. She scares the hell of me. Um, but I have my more support. I have my fiance here. And he about to damn doze off to sleep. Which I won't blame him shit, because I've been yarning in hell. I do the same thing, too. But, um, I'm not even going to guess when I'm going to have these twins. It probably won't come surreal to me until my water breaks. And, yes, 
no, my water hasn't broken just yet. I'm six centimeters and my water haven't broken yet. They need to hurry up with this damn epidural for real, for real. Because once my damn water breaks, oh, this pain is going to become super intense. Right now, I can bear it. It's not that bad. I'm foof. Foof. You know, shit like that. Mm. As soon as my water break, I'm going to be in fucking tears. I already know. But yeah, like I said, this thing is beeping at me. I will keep you guys updated and talk to you later.